Better than Lego. Better than Lego. <laughs> Matthew Jones is in position for a long range shot. He's with it now, Matthew Jones. Here goes the kick from Jones. Welcome to the Johns Family Podcast for this week, people. I hope you're all well. Uh, I tell you what, can't you feel winter coming around? It's been quite chilly in uh, in uh, recording this. It's anyway, in- nonetheless, I might bring in the family. Hello, Jack. How are you? I'm good, Cobber. How are you? Yeah, going well. What about you, Cooper? How are you? Good, Big M. Liking the hat, mate. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it, mate. And before we talk about the hat, welcome to old Clubfoot. How are you over there, mate? You going all right? I'm not bad. I'm not bad, thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm way better than Morgan Wallen this week. Oh, oh, I am. What's, what's happened? Oh, Morgan's had a little bit of an issue. He got arrested, I think. Um, oh, who has I had too many at the bar and threw some chairs down. Yeah, threw a chair, eh? At a person? Couple. At a person? Oh, it might have been the police. He's Don't been arrested. When you that, said too, yeah. uh, he's, he's had too many. That's very open. He took too many beers, extra tablets. Just too many. Too much, too much of whatever he was doing. Too many. Too many and bags. He's come out now cane. and said <laughs> that what tipped him over the edge was that he's. Ex partner, the mother of his child, oh, no. eloped with a new oh, guy. No, yeah. so we got oh, he got angry and he was drunk and, and he was drowning. That there'll be a song in that. He's drowning. I'd, his be, sorrows. I'd be filthy if they had a really nice ceremony, to be honest. No, nah, they looked dodgy. Oh, yeah, did they? They looked, asked him to perform, looked all oh. odd. Oh, wow, well, <laughs> <all right. laughs> just been, wait, watch his space. There'll be a song. I think he's been arrested before as well for that. So he's yeah, yeah when you guys were in uh, Nashville, Probably. I think he was arrested around that time. Mm, he was needs- he? Yeah, I think he was getting a bit mouthy at the front of Kid Rock Bar, which is a That's wonderful right. bar in uh, Nashville. Yeah, he did like it doesn't that, reflect didn't he? on that place, but no, it, it was a lot of fun. But you know what? Stars, whether it be rock stars or country stars. You know, I think sometimes to keep a bit of uh, keep a bit of a rep in the biz, there's nothing wrong with being arrested. You ever been arrested? Uh yes, I was arrested once. Hang on. Uh, actually, was uh, for urinating in public. Yeah, I there, was going to say. Did you ever write? That was how old were you? Um, eighteen. It was before I met you. Uh, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah. Because what had happened? There were circumstances. I don't know what I was doing at like that had to hour, but it was three a.m. in the morning. And I'm standing there on the corner. I wasn't pimping, nor was I selling drugs. But I was standing on a corner, chit-chatting, and I needed to go to the toilet, went back to walk back into the pub, and they said, sorry, mate, it's shut. So I went down a dark little alleyway, got the old fella out. Next minute, there was a torch, and I went, are you okay? And it was the police, and they threw me in the back (laughs) of the paddy wagon, took me to the police station, fingerprinted me, and I had to go to court. I'm glad you said fingerprinted. <laughs> when I uh, when I went to court, the guy who was the prosecutor was a teammate of mine. I got off like well, no, it was the, hard. The judge when, let you off. Yeah, the not judge the, he the he walked when I walked Pinto in. He T um, rolled his eyes like, oh, here we go. But or I, this sounds like I'm really bad, badass, hard ass. <laughs> but I actually did a plea, accepted a plea oh, before I went in there. Yeah. So the guy went, okay, this is what can happen. Like this has got six months. Is maximum, which you're never going to get, yeah. and minimum was this. They said 20 hours community service. We accept that, and I said yes, I accepted it. You're a bad oh, man. Oh, that's good. Hmm. You'd ne- and you've never urinated in public since. <laughs> now he just hey. wets his pants. Uh, but before, well, but you, know you, don't, you can't get arrested for wetting your pants, right? Yeah. Two years later, well. I actually did, and I, uh, I I turned on the tears, and they let they they let me go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. Don't, let's go. not move on for a second because we haven't we spoke, need to talk about, we haven't that, spoke about that hat you got on. What, oh, what's yeah. going on with it? Yeah, oh, I, I was oh, with, that in the uh, markets in London. I was with my Italian wife and my uh, our two friends. Italian friends and neighbours, and I don't know. I was I felt like the odd man out as the only sort of Anglophile, and so I uh, decided to get with the uh, the Italian regime. Bought myself a flat cap. Yeah, it's nice. That's, that's, not, that's not a flat cap. That's not a flat cap. Yeah, yeah. No. flat caps are what like. The X Games, like skateboarding, your sort of people wear. I don't even know. Yeah. This back in the day was a flat cap. No, what? I don't know. What that's the original called. one, like Andy Cap. Remember Andy Cap, the 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 guy in the cartoons. The, yeah, yeah. The wasn't he, comic wasn't, strips. Was it? Wasn't Andy Cap used in a liquor store ad? Yeah, he was. Oh. Yeah, it's very much an old. He was person. multi-dimensional. He's like Cooper Johns of the nineteen seventies. Did what, he, what is multi-dimensional about Cooper Johns? Yeah, well, lots got his things. fingers in lots of things. <laughs> Guilty. Pies, pasties, hey, um, chico rolls, <laughs> all sorts of things. Uh, it's very much an old person's hat. That's what I'm trying to get at. Ooh. No, like it's, it's very European it's hat. Grand, no, but like it's 
it's probably most synonymous with old people. I'm thinking Vinnie Jones in The Gentleman, yeah. like the, the, the groundskeeper sort of stuff. Okay, I'm getting, I'm taking yeah, some right. of them as compliments, others as Abe Simpson. Not. I'm thinking like Abe Simpson. I'm thinking groundskeeper Willie. Abe Simpson. Yeah, oh, like Grandpa Simpson. Yes, I'm thinking Grandpa yeah, right, Simpson. Yeah, you're fine. I'm thinking Hans Morgan. Thank you. Uh, so back to Morgan Waller. Mate, to Morgan, we're passing on our regards. We wish you all the very best. He's a fan of the podcast. Um, um, just something we might that need to make caught a song up for him. my eye talking about London. Uh, the QPR, Queen's Park Rangers Soccer Club, there's been a bit of an incident last weekend. They sacked their mascot, Jude the Cat. Um, <laughs> I like that name. Every every mascot has to have its shtick, so to speak, and Jude's shtick was getting up and dancing uh, in front of the crowd. But oh, Hang on. Dancing. Why were you like flossing in your well, seat there? Yeah, it's what, what I do. It's my that's how Matt dance. dances. So Jude, Dabbing. just for clarification, Jude the cat is not an actual cat. It's a man and a cat. It's a man. Oh, okay. Well, we Listen, assume it's a man. Might not be a man. Might be a lady. Cat. There's some places that actually, like some clubs, actually have animal mascots. One hundred percent. Aren't it people in costume? Oh, name me one. No, like he's the ones in America. Right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Remember Ace Ventura one, the dolphin. For yeah. the Miami Dolphins. Danny yeah. Dolphins. Snowflake. Snowflake. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, Thank you, Gav. Right. You hear Gav in the background. Precious <laughs> and Silas the Lamb. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, he was dan- he, the, he Jude's shtick was dancing with the fans. What they started to find that he was dancing more and more with the lovely ladies in the stands and leaving the blokes alone, like gilfs, milfs, all sorts of stuff. And then it came out that he was dropping the weights on them and asking for uh, phone numbers. So they said that wasn't kosher, uh, but there's a petition taking place as we speak from the fans asking for his reinstatement. Do we know anything about Jude the person? The person yeah, I don't know who's inside the community. Do not know who I'd that like dodgy cat is. How old is he but roughly? Tr- yeah, but remember Trish, you... You dated Big Dog there for a while, the person in the Big Dog suit. Is that right? Big Dog. Who's, who's Big who's Dog? Who? Big Dog was the guy. He was Newcastle's basically town mascot, wasn't he? But Big Dog put all the kids to bed. He put all the beds to bed at night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. He still does. Yeah. No, he um, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the NBN. On the NBN, he still does. Yeah. yeah NBN yeah. Newcastle. Shout out to uh, yeah. Mike Rabbit and Dylan the guys. Dylan Lucas, as soon as he sees Big Dog, straight Off to bed. He puts all the kids to bed. Like, what do you mean? Big no, Dog goes to bed. They go at 7.30, everyone, and Miss Kim is going to tuck. Big Dog to bed. Mm. Unfortunately, before I met Trish, Big Dog was tucking Trish to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I actually taught with uh, the Roosters mascot at one stage. Oh, you did too. He was a maths teacher. Taught. Yeah. Taught. Mm. Oh, taught. Yeah, when I was doing oh, Yeah, when he said taught, I was thinking, who, who are you going to say yeah. here? Kiss? That was yeah. when I was performing. What he was, he was a maths, he, he was a maths teacher. He was um, the mascot. Originally, though, he was a salary cap auditor for the Roosters and he did the job too well. <laughs> so they sent him to be the mascot. That's just a joke what to are, Mark Fennessy and what, uh, you, Nick Politis. Please don't sue me. Do you have any uh, favourite mascots of all time? Well, I'll say this. Um, here's one for you. Um a player, I'm not going to say who the player was and who the person is, but a player who I know, who I played against, dated the person in the mascot. What was the mascot? No, I'm not going to say. Oh, yeah, so we can't, I'm, we I'm, can't not, I'm not going to say, okay, but I'll, I'll say this. No, this, is, this is fact. What's the team? I'm, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. But if you were to date a mascot, who would it be? Oh, the slush puppy? Remember the slush, oh, the genius, yeah, the yeah. slush puppy, the, the animated dog? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'd, I'd go, go uh, Jack, what are you? Who, Jack? I'd, I'd go Nitro the Knight. Oh, Nitro? Hang on. Is that the Knight's master? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was Sir Rusty. Yeah, Remember, we Sir played Rusty? it with Sir Rusty. No, no. There was, oh, a re- there, was a, there was a bit of a rebrand there about a decade ago. Of yeah. course, they rebrand. Do you know they just turned the Knight's symbol the other way? Like, what? Well, yeah, why? Yeah, they it, said that it would bring more success. Oh, hello. <laughs> Maybe turn it back. Hello, McFly. Hello. Now they said that they said that the original one was looking in the, like backwards well, into bang, the past. Ba- like they wanted to look shui. They wanted to make it look forward. Well, well, they're, trying to said, cover, they're trying to look past all those old boys that just yeah. hung around, hang around all the they're time. They're still hanging around. Sponging well, off the club. I'll just say one more thing. Maybe look back, guys, because I'm looking in the future. I don't see it. Premiership coming <laughs> anytime soon. Uh, there it is. I'll just say that, just letting know for uh, all the Knights fans out there. No hate mail. I'm only mucking around. It's just part of my shtick today. Um, MC Hammerhead, be an interesting. What are you, Trish? Apart from Big Dog, who would you, which mascot would you date, do you think? I'm going to go with the West Tiger. Oh. Does it have a name? 
Yeah, uh, Tim. Just to, <laughs> Tim was like, back in the Tim day Tiger. when he uh, Tim Sheens, was, it was <laughs> called Tim Sheens. Keep, keep it simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And memorable. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, very nice Matthew, man. I've got something for you as well. Oh, what is? I it? was uh, circling uh, news dot com before, mm -hmm. uh, and I found a story about this lady who she's covered in eight hundred tattoos, and she was kicked out of church. And I thought it was very interesting. She had a crucifix on her face, and apparently oh, she went in to the church and was singing and then the priest came up to her and said, oh, you're singing too loud. Mm. You need to leave. Uh, but now it's come out that apparently she was kicked out because of her excess tattoos. Oh, well, that's... Come on. Guys. God, so, does, that, does that give what? you... What? Oh. I got told to be quiet in church singing too. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> Did you? Yes. Yeah, but you were singing Give Me Head Out Loud by the radio. <laughs> yeah, that's, I did when I was in primary school. Mm. Why? Really? I was singing too loud. Apparently. What song was it? I don't know, like a religious one. Oh, Probably yeah. Lord of the Dance. I did like that. I got quite into it. Living on a prayer. How loud are you Lord dancing? Of the dance. the father, the but there's hundreds the of people in the church. How loud are you singing mm -hmm. for like the priests and yeah, stuff? Pretty loud, it? apparently. <laughs> Remember the old ladies when you go into church and they're oh, they really throw oh, themselves into man. it. Man. Yeah. Right, can I just make put something out for there for the listeners to have a look at? A bit of yeah. homework. I want you to go on YouTube, type in Dave Edmonds Girl Girls Talk on Countdown. Dave Edmonds, Girls Talk is the song on Countdown. Just what we're talking about. He's up doing a live performance on Countdown, and there is a woman who's a young girl who's side who who's at the front, and she's singing that loud. You can <laughs> barely hear Dave, and he's looking down at her, laughing. It's very, very good. Well, she's it's very good. Well, though. No, no, she's not singing oh, well. Oh, oh. The question I wanted to pose you from yes. from that story uh, is it is it not is it unethical? Because there's some nightclubs that won't let you in if you have tattoos on your hands. Is that right? Uh, I remember like I was out with Shandor one night in Brisbane and they wouldn't let him in because he had tattoos on his hands. Yeah, right. I think they yeah, for any other gang. reason? I think yeah. probably he had well, a shirt off as well. In Tokyo, right. there's a lot of that in Tokyo. Um, you couldn't go to the pool area I couldn't the hotel. Go to, yeah, where I was staying when I went uh, a few years back. Couldn't even go to the pool area if you had, um, like one of my mates had a, I think it was like a bird tattoo on his forearm and they said no. But mm. Apparently there's a close association with the Yakuza. Yeah, yeah. Sort of, that's I think exposed. it is all it all it is all gang related. Yeah, yeah. is that concern with it? But is, is that should that be allowed? I suppose that's the thing I was thinking. Discriminate like, against people? You know, I don't think so. Unless there's something yeah, but like they don't want swearing. Trouble. You know, yeah, you don't yeah, want but trouble. these days, it doesn't, it Trish, it's not the '60s where basically you know criminals and criminals I mean, we're, and, we're not sit and there seafaring and investigate what get tattoos. Seafaring. tattoos mean. What? But the gang people know what they mean. Do you know yeah, what I mean? It, I, it shouldn't be left to hotels and and things like that to know what they mean. I understand that, but. You look at some of the blokes now on the northern beaches, they're covered in tats because they like how it looks. Look, yeah, bloody well, Kayla, they Kayla, Kayla and Ponga. Oh, yeah. Kayla and Ponga sure. wouldn't be able to get in anywhere if that's yeah. the way they're Oh, no, he's got like little birds. He's got little pieces on him. Yeah. Mm. He's still. got little that's – that's there's a couple of different versions of tattoos. Are they homemade tattoos? Some yeah. might be. Oh, that's but so – that's tech, scummy. Tex, I'm sorry. Text Hoy, our friend. Nah, friend he, only like, he only did a couple of them. No, yeah. but he used to like get – the little ones all over him yeah. as well. He's Horrendous. A lot, a lot of people are doing that now down their arms and things. They've just got little bits here and there. Yeah. And, yeah. The home See, I was going to get the crucifix on my face today. I've got to cancel the appointment. It's not going to let me in the church. But what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time? I wasn't going to have been... anywhere hanging on it. Hanging When's the last time you've been to church? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. You know Because I still I want to go to a, every Easter and I went, Christmas. I, I went to a funeral three weeks ago. Thanks, mate. Oh, oh you're oh. Low that is the low. That doesn't count. Maybe try Christmas and I'm Easter. Pretty sure Johns. it does. Funerals don't count as going to church. Yeah, it does. I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah, Thanks, so I Gav. take the Eucharist. <laughs> apologies, my mm. apologies. Guys. Sorry, Trish. When was the last time you <laughs> took the communion? The Eucharist. I, I haven't Eucharist. taken the Eucharist. I haven't taken Since the, probably the one Eucharist from probably 20 years. You only go for the red wine, don't you? you only go for the blood. red wine? Well, no red wine. <laughs> Stick it. Well, last time I had a drink, I went, mate, is that Pinot? Because it tastes more like it's blend. <laughs> <laughs> Body of Christ and drink the blood of Christ. Is it Pinot or is it a Beaujolais? Ooh. Is it full-bodied red? <laughs> tastes oh, like it's from the Hunter Valley. <laughs> <laughs> sure Jesus wasn't in mm. no cash <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> so Jesus was from the McLaren Vale. Be careful. Uh, yeah, you be careful. Uh, you Jesus is our friend. The reason that, uh, I mean, we can joke because Jesus, that's why he gave us a sense of humor. Exactly. That's why he gave us hands. Because, you know, people people say sometimes that masturbating is a sin. And I said, well, God gave us a sex drive and hands. So <laughs> that's what he wanted us to do. Jesus. Next story, Jack, what oh, do you got for dear. us? Cobra, I've prepared nothing today. Oh, I've, excellent. Uh, yeah, I've thought to myself, 
you know yeah. what? These guys, these three around me are that good that uh, I can come in and just and just freestyle it today. You know, so, you're in the reactive role. I'm, a, you know, what? that's exactly right. Minimalist. Are Minimal. you are you ready for your um, really? listener feedback? Well, not feedback, the calls. Because oh, remember, yeah. they're giving us some. Um, uh, yes. What are they called? Uh, they've given us their pickup lines this week. Yeah, we, we did that. I believe Coop Johns has them on his phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jack, Jack literally hasn't done anything. I've taken <laughs> I've Jack minimalized this week. Uh, hey, let, let's just say this. I'm not going to say what it is, but this bloke on my right, Jack Johns, has been busting his ass mm. relentlessly. It's all right, mate. Nonstop. Listen, mate, just because you do breakfast radio, okay, we all have our cross to bear, so to speak, mm. so it's not on my face. Do you think, oh, hey, can I ask you, do you think bre- is breakfast radio hard done? Oh, when you do it for eight years, I guess a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gav did it for a lot of years as well. Well, when you're He's on air constantly. Tough. <laughs> Jack uh, Cooper, it would be. Oh, so you know what else is hard? <laughs> getting Thanks, flown Trish. to Africa. Getting flown oh. to in to what Afri- class? What class were you? What What do you mean? Oh, I don't see the class system. I don't really understand. Yeah. I, I it's because you always turn left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't sit in it. I just I just sit up there. I just I go down and see everyone. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, we might head to a break then, Big M. Oh, okay. Are well, we going to oh. do? No, are we going to do the? Um, yeah, yeah. Just when do we it. get back. Right. Oh, do, you want to do it now. Gav wants to do it now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's do it now. Stop preempting. <laughs> <laughs> Our listeners are giving us pickup lines uh, uh. that they've sent through. First pickup line. Pickup line. Back in the day, I used this one. Is your dad a thief? The way he stole the stars in the sky and put them in your eyes. Oh, that's an old one. I've had that one. Have you? Go, I use it. What I did he say? Fancy. Can you repeat that yeah. again? Um, is your dad a thief? I know when. You, you idiot. I gave it to him. No, no, no. And then continue on. And went, oh, you it was the guy in the big dog suit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little rough. I took, I took high offence. All right, rating out of 10. Anyone have a rating? Oh, it's a bit of an oldie. You do, look, I'll give it a three. Out of yeah. 10? Yeah. It's pretty weak. Yeah, it's, I didn't like it either. I'll give you a four for effort if you actually say it to someone. Next one. The pickup line is, would you like an Australian kiss? It's like a French kiss, but down under. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love your work. Yeah. I love the little chuckle after. Yeah. yeah, it was Mate. a yeah. It, that I was think... a that was a four until he started laughing and it became a six. I think I like I, it. I like it too. I think that. Do you think that he actually made that up? No, no, no. That's from the Inbetweeners. Yeah. Oh, I've heard it on there that? before. That's yeah, been around forever. Oh, like Australian that. kiss. Yeah, yes. it's very good. It's very clever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you stole it. So. An Australian <laughs> kiss. It's the same as uh, it's like a French kiss, but it's. Uh, down under and around the back. <laughs> Ew. That is sus. I think that's that. a New Zealand kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. I like that one. The last one. Pick up line. Um, you walk into a bar and walk up to a girl and say, hey, have you tripped any tree branches lately? She goes, oh, no. And you say, how about a root? <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. <laughs> Straight to the point, you old romantic. Uh, Hulao and Glazius, thanks for ringing. <laughs> yeah, well, I reckon that'd work. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'll Give it a go. I'll shoot, like... I'll shoot it from a distance. I um, I got one sent to me. Oh, this would be good. This is from Rennie Kravitz. Oh. Um, I'm so jealous of your heart. It gets to do something I dream about. Girl says, what's that? He replies, Pumping deep inside you all night. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's excellent. Oh uh, well, uh, Gav, put your shirt on. Oh no, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like hearing that coming out of my, your mouth. Sorry, I thought it was very clever though. Oh, geez. it made me giggle. Uh, <laughs> what ne- okay. Well, a bit of direction. What do we want to do for next week? What, oh, what would you, what, oh, very good. By the way, I like all. Yeah, of them. good responses. Yeah, and okay, plenty we couldn't play. Too. What about this? Let uh, yeah, apparently. So. Let us know. When you met your hero and whether they were nice or not. Yeah, good one. Yeah. yeah. And, like and you can name them. We can beat them yeah, out. Yeah, I'll, I'll repeat the hotline. It's on uh, It's on our pages as well on Instagram and TikTok. But I'll repeat it for you. 0402 266 161 is the hotline number. Heroes and the experience when you met them. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. On that note, we'll take a quick break and be back. Welcome back to uh, the John's Family uh, Podcast. Some really exciting news. People, we are doing the John's Family Podcast is doing a live show. Yep. Saturday, the 18th uh, of May, 
18th of May in Brisbane, it's Magic Round. Yeah. It's going to be at Lefties on Caxton Street. My favourite Hell of a bar, Trish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you can get tickets from Monday at 10 a.m. What, we're charging these people? They are, but they get to our drink package. Yeah. Oh. And snacks. Hey, and snacks. Oh, wow. And entertainment as well. Snack which, fest. Yeah. Which is priceless. Yeah. That's the entertainment. We don't know what we're going to do exactly just yet, but it'll be fun. I've got a fair idea. Yeah. I've got yeah. No idea. Yep. Do you? I'm going to do a thing called, I'm going to, I think at, at the end we should play a song. And we should form a, 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 a what they call Congo line mm. all the way down to the Wally statue, around the Wally statue, and back up Caxton Street. Like we all, everybody <laughs> in the everyone, venue. and we g- gather people along the way, and we go down there. We're going to call it the Congo line for loved ones long lost. There that's you go. a mouthful. I don't know if that's. <laughs> yeah. a, I don't think. <laughs> we can so have. We can, I like the idea. Let's work on the name. There you go, gotcha. Yeah. Hey. The song is "Live It Up." I want to do. Hey there, you with a sad face, come up to my place. Question yeah. in your head: Does this play out like we we sing that on repeat? Because it's not like it's a three minute, four minute song. It's not mm. a three minute, four minute conga line walk. Well, I'm going to take that's a. a long way. I'm thinking about taking a ghetto blaster, popping it on my shoulder, 80s style, and just Ooh. hitting it on oh. on loop, don't like worries. Jerome Luai. Some mm. of my friends in Kristen, that's her go. Kristen and Joel, that's actually what they do. Like Congo and they're from Congo up there. lines around the Wally statue. Yeah, with the ghetto blaster on their oh, shoulder. They do too, that's yeah. right. I, I think, think it's a more of a We Are the World sort of song. Yeah. Like for the Congo not bad, not yeah. bad. So remember that um, there's limited tickets. So Monday at 10 a.m., Left his website via our Instagram, TikTok page, um, and there should be a link in the show notes as so, well. So forty-five dollars a ticket, but it's two, but a two-hour two drink drinks package, package and, and snacks. snack fest. I mean, how yeah. Lefty's even making money if it forty-five dollars for two hours of drinks? We're stealing from them. So that'll yeah. be from uh, for two from twelve thirty. Um, cool. Boys, have you been to Lefties? Nah. Last year, well, we went just before Cooper played, before he got bashed in by Thomas Flegler. Uh, we were drinking the, uh, oh, the apple juice oh my and God, fireball. Rum. No, rum and, and their fresh apple juice. I love that. Mm. Yeah, it was I good. I love it too much. And we've got to thank Ladbrokes, our that, sponsor, uh, yeah, our show thank, thank you, Ladbrokes. Sponsor, putting that on. Yep. So, um, Jolly yeah. good. It's going, to be, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I guarantee you get involved. I've got a few ideas. I'm uh, thinking, thinking about... Uh, we're getting us to do a few songs during it as well. Hey, can I? Can I? I'm take... happy to perform. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're on drums. Can Whoa. I? Uh, yeah. Can I do something quickly off topic? D- must you ask? Just do it. I just want permission from everyone. Is everyone on board? If I do, yeah, if I take on. control of this for a second, Jack. Yeah, sure. I've got something pretty special here because um, I don't know if anybody's been having a look at Jack's Instagram lately, but uh, some big news. Some big news that's coming out, and I've been asked. Um, by the person to, you know, probably debut her jersey on on the podcast. Jack's Jack's debuted his partner uh, on his Instagram. So we're just this is just the first thing. It's ritual. I just want to debut her with her debut jersey. You get the your Cooper Johns preseason MVP jersey, and uh, congratulations, welcome, um, you know, to the part of the family. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I got a little bit lost here. I didn't know where you were going yeah. mm. quite with what that. I don't know what the shirt had to do with welcoming. Yeah. Uh, and and well, with pictures of your face oh, on I it wanted too. to get an actual jersey made up with her face on it. Oh, yeah. But I didn't have uh, the resources or the time yeah. to do that. Or so the bother. I, so I thought I'd, I'd give her something that meant a lot to me. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Cool. Oh, she'd love that too. Yeah. Do you reckon? Mm. Oh, yeah. Cooper's Who uh, wouldn't? pre-season MVP jersey for Manly. That'd I might be get a, something that means a lot to me, my 20 kilo dumbbells. The <laughs> question is, Jack, are you, are you happy, Jack? You happy? This has been a great segment. Chris. Yeah. <laughs> you now he hates you. No, nothing gives me more pleasure than Cooper doing a shit segment. Yeah. yeah. Leave hey, it. Also, there's a bit of news getting around. Bit of, how about I turn it on you then, mate? There's a bit of news getting around that uh, you might be approached by a certain reality show of late. Uh, don't worry. It's all right. You must have been third on their list because it's happened to me a few times. But this one's uh, possibly for next year. What are your thoughts? Will you... Uh, I haven't, give, I haven't given much thought, guys. Well, just, what is it, first of all? Uh, no, I don't want to name it. I don't want to name it because if I name it, then it's out there, you know what I mean? And then articles are going to run and shit like that. So oh, do, do you really think <laughs> <laughs> the people are listening, listening with their ears to the wireless, just going, what's mate, he doing next? I'm getting papped at the airport, mate. I'm getting papped at the airport. Only Don't... accidental. They're waiting for someone else. No, they weren't. They'll wait for Weird Al Yankovic to come through. And they <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give this Weird Al. <laughs> <laughs> that was shit, Jack. Oh, well, geez, welcome geez. back. Trish, maybe we should, we should just take shit. control of this podcast. I think we should. I think we need to talk segment. about um, the cat. 
So we've heard about her bladder before. Matt and I took her to the vet the other week because she started peeing on the lounge upstairs. Like we've contained her upstairs and she's been good, well behaved. She started peeing on the lounge, which strike me down. Really it's Honestly, almost the end of the line for me. So what do you think, mean? Okay, what's the end of the line for you then? Like, the honestly, I'm about to have a mental breakdown. Oh, she stood last night screaming and yelling. It was quite embarrassing because we had Jack's partner here. I could see her going, uh-oh, <laughs> my uh, future mother-in-law's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> so she's peeing in the lounge. So we take her to the vets. Mm. $700 later. Oh, oh. Yeah, $700 later. And then she did it again last night. But... What they sent us away with was uh, she had elevated kidney function marker, which showed potentially that she was dehydrated. Now, I had mentioned to them before that I don't see her drinking water anymore, Mm. which I used to see. Well, people, if you don't see your pet drinking water, let me give you a little tip that cost me $700. This is for free. You can add water to their wet food. Mm. And they'll and they'll get their water that way. I'll tell you what, I uh, wish they'd th- told me that before. I know, I know what you're thinking out there, people listening. You go, uh, these bad stories are they contagious? Right? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna uh, leave the room. They are. Uh, hey, uh, I got one that might save it or it might add to it. Okay, mm-hmm. I was out having dinner uh, with Brandon Smith earlier a few days ago. Who? And Brandon Smith, the cheese. Cheese. Uh, oh right. Went there, D- guys. Don't ruin the story. Okay, it's already shit enough. I don't need you shitting on it. And we locked ourselves out of his house trying to – it was really – it was wet. It was raining. It was wind. And his neighbor's pots fell over and smashed all over the ground. So oh, we went man. out and um, with his partner and were trying to lift him up. And then locked – Brandon just closed the door behind him without a key and locked us yeah, all out. That's happens. And then we had to go around the back and the back door was locked out except Brandon's got a little cat. We spoke about her on there before. Uh, Luna. 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 Who's uh, – a bit like sort of loses it, start to lose her mind a little bit, but uh, it's <laughs> not, not her own fault. I've heard he's mm. built a little uh, a little cat door into oh, the thing. Yeah. So Brandon was like, "Oh, do you reckon you can get through there?" <laughs> oh so no! I was like, oh, okay, you and did not. I well, I put my arm through and my head through, and I couldn't get. Couldn't I get couldn't get nose, my other. Couldn't sh- get your nose through. <laughs> 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 oh, high five oh, again. Everyone's there. laughing, are they? <laughs> Sorry, continue with the story. It's a doozy so far. Through, and um, I couldn't get through. So, Brandon's partner, Izzy, we sort of pushed her through. But unfortunately for her, what, they haven't strategically placed what's on the other side of there. So, you had like the food bowls and the kitty litter. Oh, and no. when she put oh, her no. arm through and she's closing, Straight she's popped litter. her hand just in this little puddle of piss in the kitty litter. Oh. <laughs> and it. Stunk like absolutely yeah, cat stunk. pisses. Cat Not piss good. smells bad. Eh? Yeah, she got through though. She got through. She got through and unlocked us at the other I, side. I, I'm actually wondering why they sent you through first. And, and what yeah. was are it, they insinuating? You're more petite than the, Isabel. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, yeah. I think actually. I got a smaller ass. <laughs> yeah. No, you have no ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah what, did you say it was shoulders. wet outside, Coop? Yeah, it was raining. So, oh, well, that's a two birds, one stone. Mm. Also, if she was crawling over the food, she put some water in the uh, cat's food yeah. bowl. Three so birds, there you go. three birds, one stone. No mm. kidney failure for her. There you go. Three stones, four stones, mm. one bird. <laughs> and and then, um, did you hear? There's been some bad animal things happening. Oh no! Did you hear Andy Harmon? She's she used to be on Law and Order. Andy Harper. Did he play for the Newcastle? Andy Harmon Jets? in the oh. states. Their pet dog got shot by the grocery delivery guy. Hang on a second. So the grocery. What was he delivering? Bullets. Groceries, <laughs> and oh. he literally shot her, and he's not being arrested for it because he's saying that it attacked him. Yet he had no no bite marks, no injuries. Even with Char- yeah. even Charlie, like get this sometimes. Like Charlie, honestly, is like a novelty dog. And oh, uh, what do you mean that? by that? No, no, honestly, like uh, a fun dog. Yeah, you know, just wants to uh, sit in your lap. Yeah, she's a lap dog, literally. And fetch balls and, and fluffy toys and stuff like that. Anyway, um, anyway, she'll go out the front sometimes and delivery guys and that will go, Oh, control your dog yeah. and I'll go, It's it's a like it's it's, it's honestly it's six inches. Although she's high. barking at them. Yeah. But she's not going for them. She's foaming at the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's learned behaviour off you. You know, you've been <laughs> so know, awful to pizza delivery people pissing on the lounge. Our pets are watching and they're doing what their master does. Oh, okay. Well, okay. To be actually fair, she probably is watching and doing what the master does. <laughs> Talking about pissing all over couches and beds and stuff. Mm. No. Yes, Isn't that that's right? True. Don't and, move on. And what about the traumatic thing we saw over the weekend? 
Oh, people. shit. This is bad. This is so bad. Trish was screaming, me. and I thought, what's happened here? Trish, Literally, what happened? was crying. Oh, it's awful. Just tell us what happened. I, I know, we God. down at Collaroy, and, and I heard this car on the horn, like, bleep, bleep. And I thought, what the hell is that? And just as I've looked up, this poor dog has fallen. It's, it's attached to, by its lead in the back of the ute. The owner would have thought it was doing the right thing. It has somehow gotten out, jumped out. It's getting dragged along behind the ute. And it's trying to, it's a Kelpie. It's trying to keep up. Honestly, I can't even tell you. I can see it so clearly. It was traumatising. Must have been gone a block. Once it it slowed down for the traffic lights and then took off again. And then obviously they've realised something's wrong and pulled over and picked it up, put it in and then continued Was he sweet, the Kelpie? I don't know. I'd say he would have barely any paws left. Yeah. Oh, like it was being dragged along, and he was trying to run to keep up. Trish was in tears. Car. You were absolutely oh, traumatized. Oh, it was so traumatizing. Oh, are you right? No, mm. I'm not right. And but I often we've been behind flat top utes and seen dogs on that, like which mm. they could easily go off. It's just not safe. Yeah. I don't know what they, there should be rules and laws. Because they oftentimes that. put dogs in the back to protect their toolboxes and tools and whatnot. Yeah, but, but then when you're driving, guys, just put them in the back. I, so I think the they're issue man's best friend. The issue Look after your friends. You love guys. your dog. There was a bit of an incident awful. here. Sorry about that. No, nah, you're right, Trish. Matt, what about, about you telling me the story about Gaz and the birds when you're a young bloke? Yeah, there was we had a we had a <laughs> um, um, flock of birds. Flock. I was going to say a school of birds. A school no, it's a of flock. fish. Oh. It's a flock of birds out the front all gathered. And um, how old were you? It took me back to when I was a kid, and I was about nine years old. And we walked out the front of our house, and there would have been like a thousand woolly wagtails up on the up on the uh, electrical line. And we've gone, oh look at that! And the old man Gaz has run out and gone, get inside, get inside. When that many birds gather together, they're going to attack you, <laughs> right? And what? I'm like, what? So literally, <laughs> we ran out. inside, and I was petrified. I'm sitting there, he goes, mate. Whenever schools of birds get together, or even flocks, or flocks of birds, when they gather together, what they'll do is they'll turn on humans and attack humans. I realised that he must have watched that <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock movie, the birds. the birds. Right? He took it. He thought it was a doco, obviously. Oh, I God. My old man, though, he's a bit oh. like uh, a bit like Dr. Evil. Remember Dr. Evil, the thing in the book where he goes, Dr. Evil spoke about his dad and goes, my father was a strange man. Yeah. <laughs> he used to say outrageous things like inve- he invented the question mark. Question mark. Yeah, yeah. Well, the old man was a bit like that. Remember the old man, he always just, he says things like, oh, if you know, you, you want to know how to paralyze a horse, you've got to punch it in the throat. Yeah. There is no scientific evidence at all, at all of that. That I don't know where this comes from. And the other thing, when I was a player, when I was a kid, who used to talk about all the time, mate, the last thing you want to do with your knee is end up with a bowed tendon. <laughs> so I always thought this thing, bowed tendon, w- was a natural thing. So I'm in a game once, and a guy hit me, hits me from side on, and I get a strained medial, and Gaz comes running out with the doctor and goes, oh, no, he's bowed his tendon. He's bowed his tendon. And the doctor goes, Gary, what's a bowed tendon? <laughs> Oh. I think I think you've gotten that trait from him as well. Yeah. Don't worry. You. What about when like ever we have mates down in the gym, Jack and Dad? Go, we Dad will walk down and go, oh, doing a bit of gym, are you boys? I'll show you something that you probably haven't seen before, and always shows them that one that push up. He has like this. Uh, uh, the he gets his feet up on the wall and is like this uh, yeah. reverse push up thing. Cobber, I've seen you do it. Uh, that would do no good to your body except <laughs> cause your joints absolute harm. Uh, I'll say this right is that I started doing that on a hunch. And what it does, it actually strengthens your stabilizers. Cobb, I did that. You, I it, you look do like you're, you look inverted. You don't look like you're enjoying it. Could I just point this out? It's unbelievable. We may have you're... to actually video this and show the people what Listen, this looks like because it's going to be boring to them enough. otherwise. Okay. What, what it does, you put your feet against a wall and it forces your stabilizers to get control and you do push-ups, right? <laughs> Very difficult, but it strengthens your stabilizers. When I first started doing this, I couldn't do bench press because so much both of my shoulders when I went back to doing bench press after six months my bench press was 15 kilos heavier what, what? Yeah. so how much did you lift six like 55 kilos <laughs> Uh, see, the fans don't like that joke, mate. Uh, now I think it was more like probably 145. <laughs> <laughs> What's the heaviest you've ever benched just before we go to a break? Yeah, I wouldn't mind hearing You're losing this. me, guys. I've bent, Most I've ever bench pressed, I've, met, I've bench pressed, I used to be able to do 100 kilos 22 times. But really? What's, well, what's the point in measuring that 22? Like, what's the... Because you've got to be very careful, like, bench pressing too much. 
if you know what I mean. When you, I was in my 30s when I could do that. If you put too much on, on the bench, you know, you could tear a shoulder or something like that, you're better off going, right, I'm going to put 100 kilos on to see how many times I can do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. very... Or the other very good one to work out um, your pure strength is go weigh yourself, put exactly that amount of weight on the bench press and see how many times you can do it. There you go. Mm. Uh, we'll take a break after that uh, bit of information and you can thank me later. Welcome back to the show. Just want to say, uh, Joker 2, um, the trailer has been released. Uh, Joker, uh, it's called Joker Folly Ardu. And uh, wow, it is fan- It looks is sensational. Lady Gaga in that? She is in it. Who else is in it? Joaquin? Joaquin Phoenix. What do you reckon Joaquin benches, Cobber? Oh, say, I don't know, maybe... 45. Do you reckon he could do one of your push ups? I don't think Jack, so. Jack, can you actually video him and we need to post it on Matt's yeah, I will. Insta? I will. Oh, okay. You're going that's to get a that. promise to back, the. That's, back to yeah, Joker. Oh. <laughs> Folly yeah. Ardu. Sorry, uh, what are you thinking? It looks it looks awesome. awesome. And I'm not going to give anything away here because it's, it's in the trailer. But <laughs> Well, you're not spoiling anything if it's in a trailer. No, it's in the trailer. So, so I'm not going to spoil anything. But, uh, you're not going to trailer, like the trailer, the trailer, right? The trailer. Um, <laughs> Oh my lord, you lose Lady it. Gaga is a female Joker. Uh, it's called, really ha- you mean Harley Quinn? Yeah, that's what Harley Quinn is. Harley okay. Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> the character is is a, his love interest. A fem- it's a female Joker. Oh. Good to know. That's mm. what, so When's what, it coming out? Because I need a good movie. Uh, soon. <laughs> oh, you are just an oracle, Matthew. Yeah. What else have we got in today? Okay, I've got some good feedback. Okay, go. Okay. Now, my friend Debbie, who's in contact quite a bit, and her girlfriends are a little concerned about you boys, Cooper and Jack, oh, uh, and your man eh? spreading. What does that mean? Yeah, it yeah. means like this, and, and she says, "Guys, could you please keep your legs together, especially if you're wearing loose shorts for our female listeners?" Yes, yeah, breath stinks. Yeah. Why is that? Is we, why is that? What's it doing to them? I think they like it, oh. just quietly. But she's she's sort of my age, I'm gathering, and she's finding a little overwhelming. Mm. So ladies in their sixties don't like that stuff. I'm not sixty. Oh, close. What about what about Big M? Has, has Matthew been caught man spreading? No. Mm. I can if no, you want. No, see, no, don't spread I've those. Little, I've got a little uh, hole right where the arsehole is. I can just maybe <laughs> spread that one out and give people a, a little look at the the, uh, the old cave. There it is. <laughs> yeah, there you look, go. The man oh, cave. Hello, ladies. Dinner's ready. <laughs> oh, my what? God. What? That is horrendous. Oh Hello. Oh, Louis, we you can eat buffet. To, oh. We need to rip that, wrap Frank's this Frank's and beans. Okay. Um, <laughs> dear. Okay. May, uh, another listener. Now, I've only got his company name by the sound of it. Um, big fan of the potty. He's, ages, he's been wondering who Jack reminds him of. He's finally... Realised it's Pat Healy from There's Something About Mary, the Matt Dillon character. <laughs> what did we just talk about? Frank? What about <laughs> Franks and Beans? Franks and Beans. <laughs> you know the sleeves back? Yeah, the sleeves. Uh. And, um, and when he sent me the footage, I went, oh, yeah, he does yeah. actually. He's the I, private I investigator. Yeah, you're not. There's unlike a few people him. like uh, Mary's best friend. Yeah, the. Yeah, with Honestly, the... spitting him is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, fake tan? the old lady with the chair. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you were talking about the guy on the uh, crutches who forget, like he pretends oh, he's... Oh, the guy. What's his name? Tucker. <laughs> My name's Norm, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love her, man. God, that's a great movie. I know. We need to watch that. I was super bad again last night. How good is it? Mate. Mate oh, he was it's pissing ins- himself. I was sitting there working to the left of him and he was just absolutely pissing himself. I was loving Why? it. Why? Yeah. Why was just, it so Just funny? love and life. All the, all the little bits in it, hey? Like, yeah. just the little things like... I was oh. just McLove and life. <laughs> um, it's about, what's your favourite scene in it? What got you the most? Uh, I I do laugh when he goes, McLovin's mate trying to think it was goes to the party and they think he's the singer from the wedding. Or something. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's Jerry's brother. <laughs> These are <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <That is> so- <laughs> Gav singing at the moment. Oh, that is oh it's it's very very good. <laughs> that, that is, is so and funny. the coppers singing. The cops are the, the best. There's like little bits of gold in everything they say. Yeah. It's, uh, what about the bit where he's uh, he walks up to those guys in that party and he goes, "Watch on your pants, man." And he goes, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And Dude, goes, are you bleeding? <laughs> uh, oh, Dude, man. were you dancing with someone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's blood, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is so funny. Oh. You have not seen it, Trisha? No. Oh. no. What? No. That's another one we should watch with you. Yeah. What other feedback? Uh, okay, this is a serious one. I don't, I don't know if it makes sense because it's footy talk. Uh, it's a Victorian watching the storm play and was wondering uh, if you boys could answer this. 
Um, why do teams always go short on line dropout these days? Uh, uh, you, no, to this person, they question. say it doesn't make sense when in front and not long to go. Making ground would be the better option. Yeah, it's feel. a good question. Well, a lot of a lot of teams. Mm. Uh, the hardest place to attack is attack. Like it's easier to defend your goal line rather than sort of through mm. that midfield. Because there's no so, ten meter gap. Yeah, yeah. So if you kick it short. You know, you get a chance of tapping it back, and it's easier actually to defend your goal line than out. Like that, yeah. it's you give away more meters out further, yeah. and yeah. it's, yeah. it's yeah. really hard attacking, to attack. If you're attacking the line, you're not playing. You, you are. You can't develop momentum. Forty meters out, and sorry, what's her name? I didn't get. The oh, name. It doesn't matter. Uh, so what happens is, is for the halves who want to create, what you want is momentum and a fast play of the ball, which the opposition has to go back ten meters. Now the problem is when you're on the attack inside the ten meters. That close to the line, mm. you can't develop momentum. They're right on, and their line speed, they're right on you, and they get the full. They plug the fullback in the line, so they have an, They have thirteen people that you're actually yeah. attacking. Plus, against. most both markers are split, so they're not right behind each other. So there's actually more space being covered. It by is the very hard to mm. attack. And these days, if you do a short drop in, it doesn't work. You can't take the two. Yeah. You just got to have a play the ball turnover in front of the post. Yeah. So and and yeah. sides are coming really good at it. There's been five or six examples this year in games where a short dropout has totally changed the uh, the nature of the game. The best example would be Sharks versus Warriors. And and there are actually Hence. teams that are easy, like are far better at it. Like it's actually like a bit of a skill, like a, like a team skill, like to My master word. the dropout in terms of kicking and the chase and bat back. I would be like, interested to Jack to do a stat halfway through the year and say, righto, what is the best? Who are the best and the worst teams? at the short dropout mm. and see where they sit on the table. Because it's, yeah. it's a big thing. A big, it, big yeah. thing. There you go. It's a very we good question. That. There you go. You know, I think uh, when we have our Magic Round Saturday live show at Lefties, I think we should give our audience members an option to ask a question. We can go through them oh, beforehand and find a couple a of good ones. They do. No, they better. Or we should just... No, just one each. We all get one. We should have a roaming mic. Get out there well, with maybe the mic, we could. ask him a couple of questions. Yeah, no, because you no, you want to vet the questions. Should we do a drinking? No. Should we do a drinking contest? Yeah, that's oh, just, yeah. that's oh, that's maybe, good. So, you know, so remember, at ten a.m. Sort of on Monday morning after mm. this podcast comes out on the Lefties website, Maddie John's podcast, TikTok, and Instagram. Instagram, you'll be able to find. You know, I was the thinking ticket about ticket link. Is I haven't seen this for years, but I remember as a kid getting oh, a real kick out of it. Oh, and it's over 18, so I have to check 18, that. okay. Ooh. As a kid, I remember getting a real kick out of this, and I'm thinking it's maybe something we can incorporate into the live podcast at Lefties, a public flogging. Do you remember they said that at Old Sydney <laughs> Town? I bags you. Now, remember at what, Old like Sydney f- Town, they used to do fake convicts and mm. sling them up and actually flog them with whips. Mm. Mm. And I used to watch it go, this is so cool. Is can it? we do that? Can no. we do... Yeah. Only you? No? Well, you, you did t- very right well with the paddle and in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, is it time to go? Yeah. It is time to go, Tricia. You were very good today. I want to give you a uh, person of the match. Mm, thank so, you. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. Sorry for the, the bit chaotic today, wasn't it? Oh, oh I felt good to right. me. Yeah, I thought it Did was it? good. I thought it flowed well. It felt awesome. Oh, it was one of our better ones. It was easy. Hey, um, it was so easy. Gallium points, three to uh, Trish, two to Jack, one to me. <laughs> you, I don't know what's going on with you, <laughs> oh, man. You really I scored it. I'm the one that actually scored. You've actually oh. you've actually come out from Africa and been far worse. Yeah, you have. Really? That, that, little, that little bit of content That's not did. true. That's it's, not true. Uh, have a look at the nice. TikTok, mate. The videos, the, the the hits and the clicks. People are loving it. Well, love, let me just clicks, say this. It? If your effort doesn't pick up le- next week, you go back to South Africa. I will insist <laughs> upon it. Can I finish with um, a pickup line that I like yeah, that yeah. I could possibly use? It might scare the man <laughs> away. Husband. Yeah, it might scare the man away, doesn't but I quite, s- it quite tickled my fancy. Hasn't got the C word in it, does it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> no, so we'll say goodbye. Okay. So I see a guy that tickles my fancy. What does he look like? Yeah. Um, I go up and I say, can we take a picture together? He says, yes, hopefully. I, go, oh, I just want to show my mum what my next boyfriend looks like. That's so weak. Or if I want to take it up a notch, I can, or what my hu- my next husband looks like. Or oh, next route. Yeah, Ooh. good one. Boy, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, he's Saturday. going on the classy side, Coop. Oh. See you guys. Have a great week. <laughs> That's so bad. So bad. <laughs> yeah.